Some designers are very clear. This gets you four revisions. This gets you 10, this gets you 20. You could price it out like that. I've chosen not to do that. I find it's extremely confusing for people when they're trying to sign up to a service and there's like this huge list of what it includes and what it doesn't include. And there's three mm -hmm. options and then they have to worry about, okay, four revisions. Is that enough? Or am I going to need more than that? 10 revisions seems like a bit much. Am I going to be overpaying and paying for something that I'm not getting? Mm -hmm. And it creates too much confusion and like they, they can't decide. So they just leave. Yeah, I don't think that's a good way to, to try to price out web design services. This is how I decided to do it. The base package that I have doesn't include any edits. It includes all these other things. There's a huge list of services of maintenance and it does include and it gives my clients the ability to make edits themselves if they want. They're totally free to do that. They have access to their site. There's that. And then there's all the way at the other end is unlimited. Anything you want done. No questions asked. The reason I did that is because web design pricing is far too confusing. People have become accustomed to unlimited things. We live in the era of Netflix and Spotify and Uber Eats and like on demand, anything you want, unlimited, unlimited speeds on internet. People have grown accustomed to that. So it's just a matter of finding a price that's valuable for them that also makes sense to you, that you also make a profit and finding a model where that works. Now, I only started offering this unlimited service just about six months ago. And I've been doing this business for five years. So I grew to the point where I felt comfortable offering that because I know my skill level is at the point where I can do all these little edits fast. Because otherwise you, you got to think right away, $200 a month, how many hours a month am I going to be spending doing edits for, for these guys? Am I going to end up losing money? My experience tells me that the vast majority of people just love to have the option when they need it. They're not going to come to you every single day with, I need this change and that done. And they don't do that. They just want the peace of mind and comfort knowing that anytime they need something, you're there. And you have to be open-minded too, because I do have clients where they don't fit into either one of those packages. They have very unique needs. I have one in particular who requires a lot of edits, but it has to be done very quickly. There's a very narrow window that they need them done within. So I quoted them a separate monthly retainer based on those unique needs because it didn't fit within the packages that I offer. And even the um, unlimited de design edits package that I offer, it's by application only. I don't approve everybody that wants it because I know the vast majority of people will be fine, but there's, I would say about 5% will abuse it. And you can tell the type of person as you're talking to them, you're like, yeah, I don't think we're really a good fit. And it also has the added benefit of making it feel exclusive because it's by mm -hmm. application only. You can't just buy it whenever you want. I have, it has to be approved.